Hello, welcome back to Birmingham to IATFL Online. Uh, as usual at this time of the day, there's quite a bit of noise behind us, so uh, apologies for that in the background. But I'm here now with two guests from the English in Action project from Bangladesh. Uh, we have Rebecca, sorry, Rumar Rebecca, Rumar Rebecca Rodriguez, yes, thank uh, you. and also Zakia Sultana. Hello. And uh, I'd like to ask you first, perhaps mm -hmm. uh, Rebecca, about your role yeah. in the English in Action project. Uh, my role is now uh, uh, a two different role. Uh, first, I am the managing the divisional activities in the division. As you know, Bangladesh has seven divisions. So one of the division is Rajshahi. So I am responsible for that one. And also, I am working with the teachers directly. So I am conducting the um, uh, training for them and then giving them pedagogical input. Okay. Uh, and on the other hand, the divisional education managers they also have my support, uh, I have their support to continue the activity, how we can collaboratively working together. So okay. in, the, in this phase, we are now mostly emphasized on the government initiative. So English in Action has very good examples, good practices as well. So we are trying to embed all these good practices into the government mainstream. So that is our now, now role. So for that reason, we are working for in terms of, in, uh, of uh, advocacy, networking, mm -hmm. attending so, uh, so many meetings in different level. That is my role actually at the moment. Thank you. Great, thank you. So I'll, I'll ask yeah. you about your role in a moment as well, Zakia. But could you just summarize what, if somebody has not heard of English in Action, could you yes. just summarize what the project is about? Well, English in Action is a nine year language development project and we focus on the teacher's professional development in primary and secondary level. We provide some materials which is uploaded in the in a memory card for using in a teacher's mobile and anytime there are a small and easy techniques to make the class communicative. It is shown on the video teacher by one model teacher and uh, there is one video narrator who summarizes the technique for the better understanding of the teachers. So as well as this, uh, we also provide classroom materials as you know in Bangladesh it is very much dominated by the teachers and lecture method is used. Now things are changing. So we're trying to uh, emphasize on the uh, communicative language teaching for, the, for our learners. So there will be participation, interaction within the students. And, you, and your role within this is to yeah. work on the materials, isn't I it? I work yeah. in a material development yeah. team. Okay, well thank you. I'm, I'm going to pick up on, for, for me, one of the well, there are many interesting aspects, but it's very interesting that you're using these little memory cards yeah, to yeah. basically to distribute mm -hmm. the materials to yes. support teachers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what was the reason for, for choosing this, uh, this approach? If we think about our approach, how, how we are uh, supporting our teachers, this is a blending of uh, distance, face-to-face -face support and distance learning. So in face-to-face -face, uh, support, with the, through this SD card, teachers have their own orientation, how they will conduct their uh, lessons after having authentic video clips mm -hmm. from the teachers. So they uh, pick up some of the techniques as well as activities to make their classroom interactive. So this is the thing. And then on the other hand, when they were, were in the school-based situation, they, uh, we have two teachers from each school and also head teacher. So they all together are um, mainly continuing these activities by their own. So in their uh, area, uh, school environment, they have their own understanding, then easy accessible uh, material, mm -hmm. so that if they want, where, whenever it is, they can see it, they can plan the, their own lessons, and mm -hmm. then do uh, in their classroom situation and mm -hmm. have their own reflection uh, from the peer teachers mm -hmm. so and also head teacher they have uh, he has he or she has the role how to uh, conduct this uh, activities in, in, in his or her school so he is also involved in this okay. process so he conduct this meeting fortnightly meeting with the teachers and followed it up how it is going on and also he is supporting by giving visit to the classes mm -hmm. and he gave his suggestions input to the teachers as well. Okay, so it's so very, it's very structured. Structured, very, yeah. And yeah. then when the local rural base is a rural base, this material actually helped them as a trainer because uh, Zakia mentioned that there is a video narrator we call Shantapa and Natasha mm -hmm. Pa. 
she is actually giving the input and uh, ask the teachers whether uh, uh, their role, what would be going on and uh, what they will do after, the, after watching the videos. Okay. And when they listen to the audios and they will have some uh, classroom instructions. Mm -hmm. And uh, apart from this, we have English language for teachers, mm -hmm. one folder. Mm -hmm. Their teacher can have their own understanding how to speak how to continue their uh, classes and is, these are totally based on our national okay. curriculum and textbook. Okay, so, so it's a combination of, yeah. of support for yeah. what the teachers are doing in the classroom mm -hmm. yeah. and also support for their language proficiency Language proficiency, well. because you know yeah. in our country English is not widely practice uh, mm -hmm. practice so only the classroom situation so mm -hmm. our target is purpose is that uh, the children will learn from the classes as well and then they will contextualize these activities and uh, speaking in their uh, real life situation I see. I see. thank you so Saki, so, yeah. are you involved in the um, distribution of the materials or are, uh, do you know how the materials are distributed I mean how how do the teachers get the SD cards with, for example, the narrator giving them okay. teaching ideas? Well, uh, Rumadi already has described that we have some uh, divisional offices, yeah. so we have seven divisions around the country, and we work for the uh, all over the divisions around the country, and we focus on the rural teachers. So through the divisional offices, there are some uh, uh, field coordinators, so who deals with the logistical issues, so who might be teacher needs some materials, uh, speaker is not working in the classroom. So they support, uh, they provide support in the school. So if one teacher needs support, they inform the field coordinator and field coordinator discuss with the divisional managers and they provide the support needed in that school. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. So, so it's we ensure that everyone <laughs> is satisfied, every teacher mm -hmm. is conducting the class in interactive way. Great. Well, so, thank you. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid we're out of time at the moment. Oh, I want to say thank I you see. very much. Just for, one, for one point. In addition to this, government officials, Good. they have their own responsibility. They also oriented about this. So they uh, have their visit mm -hmm. to the schools and they also followed it up. I so see. it's a combi combined, uh, combined of their effort. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much again for coming yeah. in and talking thank about English yeah. in action. We'll be back very shortly, um, staying in the same part of the world actually, with uh, somebody from India talking about a blended learning project there, so stay tuned.